Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, hi, my name is Ashley. I'm so glad that you guys decided to hang out with me today. Today we're gonna to be reviewing this a brand new primer da -da -da -da, from Alani. It is the supercharged dewy skin primer. Super excited about it. And I'm gonna be giving you guys the breakdown of this product, what it has in it, what it claims to do, and we're gonna be doing a little bit of a wear test. So if you wanna hear more about this primer, then just keep on watching. And if you'd like to be friends here on YouTube, then please subscribe to my channel. It's absolutely free to do so. And click on the bell so you can be notified every time that I upload. Without further ado, let's get into it. Okay guys, so here's what the packaging looks like. It comes in this squeezy tube and you get one fluid ounce of product. This has a citrus extract, ginseng, and turmeric, which are ingredients that are supposed to help brighten your skin and give you that glass-like appearance. Also, turmeric is known to help with inflammation, so it's an anti-inflammatory, which is awesome, so it's gonna help calm your skin, reduce any redness that you have. It also has ahoba milk, so it's different from the oil because the milk has ahoba oil in it, but the particles of oil are smaller. It's emulsified, so it is more easily absorbed into your skin, which is great. So it helps to really hydrate and penetrate the deep layers of your skin. And also it has squalane in it, which is also an anti-inflammatory, and it's an oil which is a humectant which helps to trap water and attract water to the deep layers of your skin. So this seems like a really great primer. It has lots of skincare benefits. It also claims on the website to blur your imperfections and to prolong the wear of your makeup. So we're gonna test that out today. We're going to apply it to one half of my face, see if it gives me a more radiant finish on that half, and also see if it blurs my imperfections and see if it prolongs the wear of my makeup. So it'll be really interesting. I have high hopes because the ingredients sound so good. So let's go ahead and see what the texture is like. I'm gonna just squeeze some here. It's a white color, a little bit thick. Almost looks like a lotion. It smells faintly of oranges. It's not too overpowering, but there is a scent. And when you rub it in, it just goes clear. The texture feels really nice. It just feels like a moisturizer, to be honest. But it did seem to give my skin a nice little radiant finish, a nice little glow. And there doesn't seem to be any visible specks of glitter in here, which is awesome. Okay guys, so I'm gonna go ahead and apply this to this half of my face, my left, your right. And we're gonna see if this half is the glass-like radiant finish and this half is the dull, drab, normal lash light, okay? <laughs> so I'm gonna apply about that much. <laughs> Might be too much, but it's okay. We're gonna go with it. I have very dry skin, if you don't already know. Dry as the Sahara. This just feels like a standard moisturizer going on. Feels really nice. It almost feels a little bit sticky, kind of, which is good for a primer because then, you know, it'll grip to your foundation and suck it in and really make it last long. It does feel a touch oily. So I think if you have normal skin, this would be fine. If you have extremely oily skin, I don't know if you'll like this. If you do have really oily skin and you've tried this primer, let me know in the comments down below what you think of it. I get extra dry right here between my brows, so I'm just going to work it there. Okay, so that's it applied to this half of my face. I actually do feel like my skin looks a little bit more radiant on this side. Non-dewy primer. Dewy primer non-dewy primer dewy primer i think it looks better i think it looks good it feels a little bit sticky which is a good thing i'm just going to give it a minute to sink in and i'm going to finish up the rest of my makeup and i'll be right back and we'll start the wear test okay see you in a few okay guys so i just finished up the rest of my makeup i did a pretty simple look just because we're focusing on the primer today I did feel like when I first applied my foundation, which I used a 
satin finish foundation. I didn't want to use something too dewy because then I felt like I wouldn't be able to tell the difference. Um, and I didn't want to use something completely matte because I feel like that was just setting it up for failure because I have super dry skin. So I just went with something that was more of a skin-like satin finish. I used my Believe Beauty foundation. And I felt like when I first applied the foundation, it applied perfectly fine over the primer. And it did look a little bit more dewy than the side without the primer. But as the minutes went on, I felt like I couldn't really tell a huge difference between the sides. And even looking at my skin now, this side maybe is slightly more radiant. But again, it's not a very dramatic, drastic change. I don't know. If you guys can tell on camera, let me know in the comments down below. I would love to hear your opinions. But for me, I think it looks great. It applied really nicely. It felt good. It smelled good. It has great skincare benefits, so I'm all for it. And again, I do feel like this side of my face looks a little bit smoother, a little bit more plump and hydrated. Whereas this side is just a touch more um, dry looking. Is it like a super, super, super dramatic difference? I don't know, but I do like it. I like that it's a little bit more subtle. So I think it'll work for a lot of different skin types. If you have normal skin, maybe if you have oily skin, it could work too. If you have really, dr if you have really, really dry skin like me, you might need a little bit more hydration, but we'll see how it wears as the day goes on. I will check in with you guys in a few hours. It's currently 5.40 a.m. So I'm gonna be wearing this makeup as long as possible and we'll see how well the primer holds up. We'll see if it prolongs the wear of this foundation. See you guys soon. Okay guys, so I'm back. It is, where's my phone? It is 12.40, can you see that? 12.41 p.m. Okay, so I've been wearing this foundation for about seven hours and I have to say that I really like it. I noticed in my kitchen light and natural light, it actually looked like this side of my face was a little bit smoother, like my pores were a little bit blurred, which I couldn't really tell in these lights because they're so bright. But yeah, in natural lighting and in my house lighting, I think this side just looked a little bit more smoother, a little bit more dewy, a little bit more healthy, and the foundation seemed to be sitting on top of it a little bit better, look like skin. This side wasn't dramatically worse, but I do think that it is a noticeable difference. Also, I don't know if it really prolonged the wear of my makeup. I feel like both sides look pretty much the same. It's rubbed off uh, a bit around my nose on both sides of my nose. I don't know about the prolonging the makeup wear, but I, overall it didn't really sink into these pores. It didn't sink into my smile lines as much on this side. And I feel like it looks a little bit less dry on my forehead on this side as well. So I'm gonna keep using this and I'm excited to keep testing it out. I really like it so far. I love the good ingredients. I love the orange packaging. The citrus scent is really nice. And yeah, I like it. So if you guys found this video helpful, I hope you did. Please give it a thumbs up. It would help my channel out so much. And also, if you'd like to be friends here on YouTube, then please subscribe. I would love to have you back and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.